To balance this equation, iron two oxide plus oxygen gas will count the atoms up on each side of the equation. We have one iron, we have one oxygen, and then we have these two here. So that gives us a total of three oxygen atoms. On the product side, we have two irons and three oxygen atoms. It looks like really we should start out by balancing the iron, since the oxygens are the same. We'll put a two here in front of the FeO. So one times two, that gives us two. And now the iron atoms, they're balanced. We do need to update the oxygens though. So now we have the one times two, two oxygens, plus these two oxygens here, we have four oxygen atoms. It may make sense to try to get this to an even number. That might help us balance the oxygens. So we could put a coefficient of two in front of the Fe2O3. We have two times two. That gives us four. Then we have the three times the two here. That gives us six. So things are a little bit off on this side. But if we change our coefficient here to a four, that would fix the Fe's, and that might fix the oxygens. So let's try that. So we put a coefficient of four, and now we do need to update these numbers here. So we have the one iron times four, that gives us four iron atoms, those are balanced. Then the oxygen atoms, we have one times four plus the two in the O2, that gives us six, and now this equation is balanced. So two things to remember, make sure you count all of the oxygen atoms, and then if you have an odd number, it's helpful to multiply that by two to get it to an even number so you can change the coefficients on the other side to balance the equation. This is Dr. B with iron two oxide plus oxygen gas. Thanks for watching.